Hello viewers. Um, well, today I got a uh, interesting uh, little surprise to uh, show you. So uh, I got this microwave here. This is an Emerson microwave. Um, as you can probably already tell, this thing is absolutely trashed. The chassis has got really bad rust on it. It's got mold all in it. Um, I didn't get this to fix or um, I guess the well, yeah, I guess to fix up and resell. I, I got it for parts because um, originally I thought the problem was why it was thrown out is because as you'll see here it's a horrific scene it is covered in mold absolutely disgusting so I saw that originally when I grabbed that I didn't see that and then I opened it up when I brought it home and I was like yikes absolutely not there's no point point. and as you can see up here the paint's peeled off it's blistered off it's blistered off at the top it's mold everywhere but I originally thought that was the reason why this was thrown out is because of somebody probably put it in storage or some kind of, not a garage, but like a um, non-environmentally controlled storage where they just stuck it outside in some little storage building and, you know, the humid weather and stuff in the summertime and it just, it molded and they didn't know and they went to go grab it again and they seen this and they were just like, uh-uh, and they just chucked it out. But if you look here... You can see this is where the waveguide cover plate is. It is absolutely nuked. I thought, I, I, at first I didn't see that, I just saw this. And well, I thought originally it might have been having to do with something with the mold being all up in it and stuff. And you can see it's just completely burnt all the way up there. It's just, it, it's trashed. But anyway, as you can see here, I got to taking it apart. And as you can see right here, it actually was doing it inside of the waveguide where the magnetron goes and I was like huh that's interesting so I took off the magnetron and as you can see the magnetron has absolutely failed not sure that's the first time I've ever seen something like this it is just completely burnt it's been it's melted so I guess this is a magnetron failure. As you can see here, it also looks like it's been... I don't know if it's like a ground issue, but you can see here these little burnt marks where it makes contact with the plate right here. And like it's been arcing or something in, onto the, the case of the magnetron, the body of it. So, uh, pretty interesting um, scenario here. In fact, let me pause the video and try to take the rest of it off. All right, we're back, and as you can see here, this is what it looks like. A bit more better light. I mean, it is just pitted. The inside looks fine. Now, I have not plugged it up or tested it or anything just because of the mold that was inside of it. But as you can see here, this thing is just, it's, it's trashed. I don't even want to know if it works. There's no point, really. Even if it did, this is probably so bad damaged, it would still affect it. It would still probably arc. Like I said, I don't know if it was a ground issue or something, and it was like causing, you know, like how you put aluminum foil in the microwave, if that was kind of what this, the metal shroud was acting like, and it was just building up electrical chargers, and it was just arcing over to ground inside the, uh, the waveguide, or what, but even the gasket, you can see the gasket around here is, it's got some burntness too, I don't know if that's just from the heat of this, but uh, like I said, and even these little, where it makes contact to the face of it, um, it's also, uh, it's got some burnt marks on it. I think that's just from the smoke, as you can see here, um, coming out of these vent holes because it mounts right here. This one, two, and three over here. So there's three screws that hold it in place. That acts as a ground, which is why they don't paint it right here to make good contact. But yeah, but I thought that that was just the uh, craziest thing I've ever seen. But uh, thanks for watching, and that's the end of this video.